So if you thought the angry mother situation couldn't evolve any further, boy, are you wrong. The whole angry mother's family is now getting involved. For example, I'm David's aunt and I'm seriously offended by how his mother acts. So now they're fighting amongst each other now. What is this story? What is this? <laughs> I'm not making this up. They're really sending me these emails. Why does BitLife drive such strong emotions from people? <laughs> His mother is serious. She actually thinks you should stop making videos. While my daughter is allowed to watch wrestling. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, wrestling. That's the devil. I, I know. I, I've... I've literally had family members tell me that it, the wrestling's evil. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, wait. I, we, maybe we're not on the same page here. What kind of wrestling are you talking about? Hashtag stop David's mother. Stop David's mother. Stop harassing me. Let me play my bit life, okay? Hope you guys don't mind. I decided to spruce up the place a little bit. You know, I always get those people asking, where's all your anime stuff? Well, there it is. Get off of me. God. All right, Bittisons, are you ready for drama? It's crazy, all the things you can get up to with your exes. Reconnecting, rekindling, revenge, restraining orders, and that's just the letter R. <laughs> Enjoy, and don't stalk them too hard. Oh, I can't promise you anything. <laughs> they have feelings too, especially about you. Oh. How about we remind our exes why there are exes, okay? Let's do it, guys. I'm freaking, I'm excited for this. I think this episode, I wanna be well, super creepy, okay? I want to <laughs> I want to make someone regret dating me ever, okay? Insert joke about real life. Everybody say hello to Creeps McKenzie. I basically want to be like not self-aware about how creepy I actually am and just like go on dates and expect people to be cool with everything I do even though I clearly cross the line. Because in life, I feel like there's those people and they just don't know when to stop. There's no, there's no limits. There's no like thing in their head that says, hey, maybe don't do that. <laughs> you know, maybe just don't like sniff your girlfriend's chair when she gets up, you know, because that's creepy, right? <laughs> All right, well, I guess we need to get an ex first. That shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> You broke your parents' phone while trying to take it apart. What will you do? Um, it wasn't me. I feel like if we want to be creepy, we also have to be like a pathological liar. You know, like, I've also known people uh, that like try to basically be really impressive, even though like they don't have that many life experiences, but they just continually lie about things that they say they've done and they've never done them. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Isabel the snake. Your parents wanted to buy you a, a gopher snake named Isabel. Uh, sure. That seems like a creep thing to freaking have. Okay. Oh my god. When you were... <laughs> just... It's been a year. While you were trying to feed your gopher snake Isabel, she suddenly bites your hand. I kind of liked it. Reward her. Isn't she cute? Yeah, you creep. Again, you might like snakes. That's, that's not fair. I get it. Okay, but most people I, I feel like most people don't like snakes. Okay, I just go along the general public opinion And here is where the creep starts. I'm starting to develop a crush on my teacher. Oh, let's we'll see how that develops Will we date our teacher? <laughs> okay, we got to obviously get our driver's license to creepily drive around <laughs> You know, I don't really actually know what this sign means at all. Okay, it's, it's I don't even know why I'm allowed to drive Okay, this is divided highway <laughs> He says, see, I knew it. I'm <laughs> At age 17, I've decided to try an ice cream only diet for five weeks. And the beauty guru, guru said to do it. All right, I don't want to go to college. Uh, let's get a job instead. What would a creepy creeperson have as for a job? If I'm going to be a pathological liar that, that's creepy, what kind of job would a pathological liar or would you assume that I was lying about? Let's try to get that job. We could be an exorcist or a farmer. Like, it's just kind of out there. I don't know. Let's try to be an exorcist. Yay! <laughs> Hi, you have some really negative energy right now. Can I exercise your demons, please? Please let me. <laughs> I, I don't want to be any part of that. All right, okay. Well, what is wrong with this? How come we haven't tried to get a relationship ready? I forgot. <laughs> Our whole goal. Okay. All right, let's find some love. Some. Let's find a sorry, sorry girl to love us. I feel like she's got to be really pretty. Oh, there we go. Okay, Elsa McQueen. While at a festival, you met a young woman named Elsie Elsa, Elsa McQueen. I don't know what's her freaking name. She's unemployed, though, so I don't know. She is crazy as well. I... I need someone that's actually sane, so... Okay, we need a sane person. Okay, well, that, okay. You gotta pick... <laughs> it's like that triangle, you know? These are gonna be beautiful or sane. You gotta pick one. Okay, Ava Mayfield, you met it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ask her on a date. She called me a dingleberry. Demons are coming for you. You know what? Faith Chan? Faith? <laughs> Is this a custom... Did I... I didn't do this. Faith Chan? 
That's literally someone's name. What? Look, every girl I freaking come up. Okay, let's just ask. I don't even care anymore. Never mind. I'm a do I'm a douche nozzle. Okay. Hey, Natalie Cockford. Let's just do it. I mean, on a just date. Let's date. All right, true love. Sweet. Okay, it's time to get creepy. Creepy time. Can I please stroke your hair? I just met you. I exercise demons for a living. I love listening to the Black Brides. Funny story behind that that name is my <laughs> my brother-in-law didn't know the Black Veil Brides and he called them the Black Brides and I just thought it was the funniest crap I've ever heard in my life. All right, let's make this girl just freaking regrets. Okay, Natalie Cockford. All right, you have a wonderful last name. Oh look, I even got like a beard too. <laughs> That's Creech McKenzie right there. Look at him. <laughs> let's propose already. <laughs> This is our first time meeting a girl. Let's just propose. Ouch! But... What? Natalie Cockford, I must say, I know that we just met, but I knew as soon as I laid eyes on you that you were the one for me. Okay, it's time. I felt like it was time in my life. You're the first girlfriend I've ever had that I just... you. I wanted to marry you. You think that ruined our relationship? I mean, that's not creepy, right? That's definitely not overstepping any boundaries to propose on the first, like, second I've met her. Let's have a conversation with her. Okay, this is fairly normal. A little too normal. We had a conversation about why cats are better than dogs, although I respectfully disagree, all right? Well, I... I don't really disagree or agree. I actually love them both. So, yeah, that's where I am. That's where I stand. Okay, another creepy thing we can do is just start giving her, like, a lot of money for, like, no reason. Like, we're, like, really desperate to try to keep her, like, love and affection. So, we're gonna give her, like, a thousand bucks. <laughs> because we want to pretend that we're a big shot with our exorcist money. Look at you! Okay, no, maybe this is a bad idea. We're turning her- we're gonna turn her into a gold digger. <laughs> I'm trying to be weird, alright? Okay, we gotta take the weirdness further, right? What would a weird person do? Not only am I an exorcist with a beard named Creeps McKenzie, but also I don't believe in modern medicine, so I do go to the witch doctor. Now, this might kill me, and I hope it doesn't. The witch doctor has offered you a green bubbling liquid from a cauldron. Try it, why not? Oh my! You took a green bubbling liquid from a cauldron. Oh, the natural healing herbs. You know, again, I've been with you for about five seconds, Natalie Cockford. Oh, I love your last name. But I think it's time to have a baby. <laughs> no, she's oh, she's down for it! Crap! <laughs> I need someone that's gonna be despised by me! How do- I mean, it's kind of hard, to be honest. I mean, how do I make myself so weird that they just want to run away? Okay, I feel like a creepy person would have a weird freaking pet. So let's get a- let's get a pet. Okay, let's get something weird. Is there any way we can own a bat or a crow? Either one will do. Well, we have a rat. Um, no, nah, I don't want- that's- I want a crow or a bat. Okay, I am not seeing them anywhere, okay? I also just realized that we could actually have a horse ranch? Should we become a farmer in a future episode? I've never- I've never even seen that before. Okay, I guess a wolf will do. Let's buy a wolf because I feel like a wolf. You know, you know, sometimes in life I just feel like a wolf. All alone and- it's fur is as black as my heart. I named it after you, honey. My wolf, my black wolf. I named it Cockford. <laughs> it reminds me of you, so beautiful. All right, are you freaking creeped out yet? All right. No, look at our relationship. It's fantastic. She loves the creepiness. We gotta go drastic here, okay? I'm insulting her. Let's just be mean. You lint liquor. She called me a what? Ow. Oh, she attacked me. Okay, suey sue time. No, we're not gonna sue. We're not here to sue. We're here to stalk. Someone help. She attacked you. She inverted your elbow. She scraped your throat. Ah, and we didn't leave. Okay, that's the sign of a freaking weird person right there. I love it when she scrapes my throat. Please do it again. Okay, I feel like for us to really have the stalking effect, She's gonna have to break up with us. We don't want to break up with her because that's not a person, you know, I wouldn't, if I wanted to leave someone, I wouldn't stalk them. I think we want to, like, have her naturally leave me. I've been wondering lately why a woman has two breasts when she typically only has one baby at a time. These are the questions. These are the questions. <gasps> Cockford! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. She passed away from old age in the night and was found deceased by your girlfriend, Natalie. Natalie Cockford, what'd you do to Cockford? Oh, she's pregnant. Oh, this is gonna make this even more weird. Keep the baby? I, I guess this is not what I was planning on. How is her relationship thriving? I've tried to be weird. She doesn't even like us. 
Insult her again. Yeah, that's right. You're a loner and you're a wolf killer too. Ow. Oh, God. Now, she's just so violent now. <laughs> I think if anyone's going to be doing the stalking, she's going to be doing the stalking. Somebody help. She attacked you. She grappled your spine and spanked your armpit. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Is she still not leaving us? She just wants to attack. She just wants blood. That's it. Insult again. Yeah, you're a psychopath. The only psychopath spank armpits. Ow. Oh, God, she keeps attacking me. She's going to kill me. She's going to kill me. She stretched your thumb. She cracked your scalp. Ow. Okay. She's crazy. She doesn't want to leave. Now she wants to go to the movies. She wants to go on a date. That's it. Let's cheat on her. Let's cheat on her. I am I am getting desperate. I want her to leave me alone. Because she's going to kill me, literally. All right. Date time. Okay. Uh, hook up. Even though you have a girlfriend, a young woman named Michaela Pincock. What is with these last names? Asks if she can paint a portrait of your nude body. Hit that. That sounds weird. Oh, yeah. I had her paint me like one of those French girls. She's pregnant now. Oh, my God. So many... Oh, my God. Don't keep the baby. <laughs> She's still there. I can't get this girl out of here. My God. When I said don't keep the baby, yet we have a baby. I'm gonna name her Sage. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Please don't leave me, girl. Baby, please. Uh, sorry, am I being weird? <laughs> Wait, there's an option to go at her? What does that mean? All right. Okay, I wish you well. I wish you well. I'm definitely not affected at all, okay? I'm definitely not uh, madly in love with you. I'm gonna stalk you. Uh, wish her well. Now I am depressed. And out of my depression comes stalking. Because that's the way to cope with it. What did I do wrong? Is it because the wolf? Okay, finally we can actually implement uh, the new features in the game. All right, so here we go. Our, you know, exercise, <laughs> exercise, the new, yeah, you get it. Okay, so I imagine we probably want to go to rela- Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's now officially called X's. Oh, so even your flings, they look exactly identical. <laughs> All right, so cool. So let's go to, uh, okay, call her up. <laughs> I'm going to call her up. Okay, to argue with her. Okay, booty call, chit chat, compliment, insult her, rekindle your relationship. Oh my god. Oh, what else can we do? We can send her a gift. We're about to send her a bat wing. <laughs> oh my god, that is so lame. Like, <laughs> you, the one thing you should never do is send your ex a freaking gift. Like, okay, for instance, a wreath of assorted flowers. I always knew you loved the flowers, okay? Even though we, even though while we're together, I never sent her any flowers. Let's do it while, you know, while she's gone. It just looks pathetic. Send her a teeth whitening kit. <laughs> oh, she'll love that. She'll love that. Some freaking tweaker crackhead crap right there. Okay, the send her a teeth whitening kit. Happy belated birthday. Yeah, when you're keeping up on their birthdays, even though, like, you guys are broken up, it's a creepy thing to do. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Oh, a restraining order. This is unexpected. Your ex-girlfriend, uh, Natalie Cockford, filed a restraining order against you. What, was it the teeth whitening kit? You really needed it, okay? I, <laughs> you have been ordered to stay away from her for three years. Tear it up. <laughs> it's just a piece of paper, okay? What, it's just a piece of paper. That's it. Oh, Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Answer, answer the phone, Natalie. Uh, you know, I was thinking we can get back together, okay? Can you chill, please? <laughs> please take me back. You called up your ex-girlfriend, Natalie. She picked up the phone and told you she's going to report you to the police for violating your restraining order. Oh, no. I don't understand what I did wrong. Was it when I sent her the bat wing? Okay, so now they're going to give freaking me one year. They're going to give old good old Creeps McKenzie one year in prison. All right, bu public defender. No, wait. We have money. Okay, we can get out of this, which is going to make this even more creepy if we actually go scot-free. I'm going to pay top dollar for car and associates. Not guilty. Okay, I was just calling because... I wasn't stalking. <laughs> that works. <laughs> What's more creepy than a creepy person? A creepy person with money because then it makes them hard for, for them to stop being creepy because they have so many resources, you know? All right, it's time to stalk her, all right? <laughs> yes, I, I do want to stalk her, okay? Say from a distance, you hacked into your ex-girlfriend's Natalie's computer and changed all of her passwords. Creep, that's a creepy move. Creepy, good, good job, creepy. How far can we take this? All right, let's talk again. You hid in the bushes with your binoculars outside of your ex-girlfriend's Natalie's home to observe her. Ah, uh, yes. Is she ever gonna catch me? <laughs> let's see how long it takes for her to catch me. On the hunt. <laughs> I'm just like a wolf. 
Don't you remember? I said I was. I'm a wolf. You texted your ex-girlfriend, Natalie, to assure her that you were not stalking her. You were just carefully watching her. Always. I'm just trying to keep you safe, Natalie. I just want to know. I just want you to always know that you're in good hands, okay? I'm always watching. You called your ex-girlfriend, Natalie, at work once a day for 25 days. No <laughs> You know, let me give you a little bit of a tip. If you're going to break up and you're like, you know... We all, I think we all go through those phases where it's like, oh, please take me back. Do not call. Do not. Okay. I, you know, I've actually worked at a place where someone uh, would always constantly call the girl that you know, one of my coworkers, her boyfriend, crazy boyfriend. And, and for some reason, they would never break up, but they were freaking crazy. Let me tell you. He would constantly call her asking for her at work at all times to like, I like check up on her. Like, soup, that's super crossing the line. No boundaries. You know, they were actually together, which is, you know, made it even more kind of crazy. Oh, so you, but, but you haven't got a hold of her yet. Maybe tomorrow. They keep saying that she's out on lunch break. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird coincidence. Hunter becomes hunted. Your ex-girlfriend Natalie confronted you. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. Car and associates, don't fail me now. <laughs> yes. I have money. I just want to see if, like, eventually, like, she's going to, um... Either come around and take me back, or she's gonna hire like a bounty hunter. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, so I sent a I sent a bouquet of flowers again, and she confronted me again. That's it. I have more money. Oh crap! No, car and associates. No, guilty. You have been convicted of violating a restraining order and sentenced to a year in prison. You have been fired by Los Angeles. Okay, come on. Los Angeles, what? <laughs> I loved being an exorcist. Oh, what makes us even worse is that we have a daughter with her as well. <laughs> and you know what we're doing with our cars, just driving back and forth, you know? Probably with a freaking fake mustache. By the way, don't stalk anyone. This is why I named myself Chris McKenzie because I know it's creepy. So don't be creepy, okay? All right, let's, okay, let's send her a text message. What does text her me? What does that mean? So that's how it's gonna be. You message your ex-girlfriend Natalie with a pic of your bulging biceps. <laughs> oh yeah, I just want to let you know that I've been, you know, I've been working out. Oh girl, this is this is what you've been missing, huh? This is what you've been missing here. All right, I just want to let you know that that I just got done uh, with a with a set of my bisexuals. Huh? I got some nice looking bisexuals right here. She wrote you back, L M A O. <laughs> And additional restraining orders. I guess the last one expired already. I'll use it as toilet paper. All right, so obviously, uh, you know, this is like my third or fourth time going to court. It's it's meaningless now. It would be even funnier if we can like send her letters in prison. In fact, I think that's a good thing to add, BitLife, uh, BitLife devs, uh, letters in prison. Because that's something you can do. I want to escape, which would make it even more creepy. We got to escape. Yes, yes, yes. Escape to make her even more uncomfortable. Ow! Okay, except I didn't escape. And the more creepy thing about it is it's like it's been years since like we've done anything because we've been, you know, in prison. And so she's going to think she's safe. Oh, I sound like a creeper right now. I'm not... <laughs> I've been watching too many Lifetime movies. I just want to see my wife. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean we're not married? She just doesn't know we're married, okay? She's right in front of the exit. That's not even freaking fair. All right. Okay, I, I haven't escaped in prison in a while. I used to be actually really good at it, but come on, dude. Leave me alone. Ow. Leave me alone. We have like 16 years in prison already, okay? Let's... We got to escape. <gasps> yes! Yes! I'm coming for you, baby. I know you've missed me. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later. I've been in prison for like 20 years. All right. She's like, she's she's probably resting easy until she gets a gift. A stripper ball? A single red rose. That's creepy. That's creepy. It's gonna go on your grave. Next day shipping. You sent your ex-girlfriend Natalie a single red rose. Oh, crap. Okay. She has an, a, an additional restraining order. Tear it up. Oh my god, that would be so terrifying. Uh, this would actually make the perfect Lifetime movie. What would the title be called? It'd probably be called... You posted nude photos of- Oh my god. Oh my god, that is not- That is illegal. <laughs> that is illegal! She confronted you! Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> I've been sent this for 40 years! No! <laughs> 75 years later. Oh, my ex-fling died 16 years ago? <laughs> Oh my god, okay, well, whoopsie. Okay, so she won't answer my phone calls. Let's just text her, compliment her. Unbelievable. I just uh, I just wanted to say that your hair smells really good. Isn't she just a little concerned of, like, as to why I have her number? 
and all that. Okay, I want to see what happens if we get another girlfriend. Oh, they we're like 70 years old now. I'm like 60 years old now. My God. All right. Okay, so I'm now dating someone. Now let's see how they react to me stalking someone. Trivial pursuit. You asked your ex-girlfriend Natalie for a second chance 18 times. <laughs> Oh no, cover blown. Oh gosh, she confronted Ow. us again. She graced, now she's just attacking. I can, you know what, at this point, I just keep coming back. I keep going to prison, coming back. She probably should be attacking me. You know, that's kind of like the last resort. What is my girl, my, my current girlfriend doesn't care. She doesn't care. Oh no, it always scares me when I die. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that there's like a ribbon for that. I don't think there is though, um, but there should be. Creepy, that should be the ribbon. Because my name's Creepy. Guys, with this new update in mind, leave some challenges down below. Smash like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. It would mean a lot to me, okay? Hit that bell, all right? I need you guys. I need your notifications on. Hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.